Hi Libra, it's Lulu I Love with House of Oshun and today I'm going to do your April 2018 reading darling. This is for Sun, Moon and Rising Libra. Any information that you need will be in the description box darling. These are general readings. Everything may not pertain to you. Um, what doesn't apply, let it fly. No. Do that. Alright. Be recording from the side again. Okay, because um, it uploads faster. I'm just saying. Oh. All right, <clears throat> angels. What information do you have for the sign of Libra for April 2018? I am recording this in March, so some of the energy may um be uh, where you are right now, moving into April. <laughs> April over there. <laughs> what else? All right. So it feels as though some of you are really taking matters into your own um, hands and really healing on a soul level. You are being assisted by spirit, angels, ancestors, God, whatever. But you're being healed, honey. Okay? On a whole other plateau. All right? Um, I do see where there will be um, new intuitive experiences for you. So be mindful of what you put in your body. Be mindful of the places you go. Harsh relationships, harsh people, places, thoughts, things, whatever. Be mindful of this stuff because it can really interfere with your energy. Okay? Um, some of you may have some issues with um, money. Um, it feels as though you will really need to um, tighten up on your spending for those of you who that pertains to. I'm seeing here, darling... Where um, some of you may also be dusting off, dusting off a book, um, or something that you've been you've worked on in the past, and you're dusting off some old creative endeavors or some old energy, and moving into um, rekindling or restarting something, and going into the month of April. It looks like there will be an offer made to you by an earth sign, but it feels like some of y'all ain't taking no love. You don't want no love offers going into April. It's like, you know, enough is enough. And Libras have been having it hard, okay? Woo! Y'all yeah, been having it. We. Well, I don't know if I'm a Libra today or not. Yep. Um, it feels as though someone uh, that you were dealing with, whether it be this earth sign or not, or an Aquarius, but someone that you have been dealing with, um... You may have had a war of words with this person and with um, like it's like a battle of the minds is what I'm hearing um, with this. Whatever it is that has gone on between you and this person, you do feel as though you were victorious in expressing yourself and getting your point across. Right. I'm also seeing where you are holding um, um, wholeheartedly. You are holding steady going into April with where you want to go, how you want to do things. Um, some of you are really planning like. You were supposed to take a trip with someone. They don't want to go, so you are still going on the trip regardless. Um, for others of you, you are feeling like you um, are going to stick to wanting to relocate, really wanting to um, move for forward. You're not looking back. You're not holding on to things that no longer serve you. It feels as though whatever, whoever this earth sign is that you may have had an issue with, um, they... Uh, may not want um, anything uh, long standing, long term. So you really are like, you know, I'm only wanting this type of relationship. If you can't do it, bye you. <laughs> bye. Whatever. Okay. Now I am seeing that you will be walking through the door of value. Whatever. Mixtape drop. Um, you will be uh, walking through the door of value, really paying attention to what it is that you value overall when, when it comes to yourself, how you want to be treated, how you perceive the world, things like that. It also feels as though um, you want a stable, you want a stable foundation. A lot of you will really be focusing on your coin, okay? Um, really going for what it is that you know, really um, tightening up on, on, on your spending and really taking matters into your own hands because you're making plans for some passionate new beginning when it comes to matters of where you want to be by the end of the year. Many of you are really working on the goals that you have set, resetting goals, going through the whole uh, period of revising, renewing, and just taking matters into your own hands. It feels as though um, for some of you, either you or um, 
you or some uh, an earth sign around you but it feels as though there is um some type of um legality that's going to come to an end um things are finally going to work out for you um, when it comes to something that you had to sign or some type of paperwork um also seeing here where for those of you who have filed divorce or someone around you is filing divorce it's going to work out it's going to work out in a fair manner here libra also there's a huge download coming right after you um, begin to really val uh, walk, into the, walk through the door of value. It feels like there's a huge download coming. And this download is going to cause you to have like this huge burst of energy, huge burst of enthusiasm. Um, the way that you look at things, I'm telling you, you are going to change. Things are going to change for you. There's also a fire sign here. Um, it could be a fire sign, earth sign, or a water sign, Cancer, who uh, Leo, Cancer, Taurus. Sagittarius. Someone's coming in to make you an offer. You don't know if you should take the offer or not. For some of you, it's just a one-night stand. For others of you, um, someone is really um, either helping and assisting you with your creative endeavors. It's like a partnership that may come about. Um, many of you will really come from come out of a space of feeling like you have been beat, abused. You can't take no more, so you are taking matters into your own hands and moving forward, honey. Okay? Um, I'm also, um, for those of you who um, are either going into some type of mediation or negotiations, there's going to be an offer made to you, and it will be an offer made in your favor. This is going to provide stability and security for you. Um, it feels as though this is you and maybe some friends or some type of um, group of people that this offer will be made to and it's going to be on you if you accept it or not but i do see you being very victorious in your in what it is that you um, are trying to accomplish when it comes to um manifest you manifested this about two or three months ago and it's finally coming to fruition for you okay it has been a very long weekend whatever I don't know why I was so tired yesterday. Then I'm babysitting, <laughs> trying to do this while you sleep, and I curse too much. Y'all know I have to work on my mouth, but the baby is asleep. All right, so anyway, I'm seeing here where um, some of you may be dealing with either a Cancer or a Leo, but it feels like you're really trying to balance out your mind, body, spirit. Some of you may be juggling, all right? It feels as though um, with this newfound, um, with the, like, this... Uh, not the offer itself, but whatever it is that some of you may have signed and, and needed, like you've been waiting forever for things to work out in your favor, they finally do. You're stable, you're secure, you walk through the door of happiness and healing, and guess what you're going to start doing? Cutting people off. Cutting people out of your life. Cutting people out who um, bring in, um, they feed your ego. And see, that's the thing about people who feed your ego. A lot of times it's not very healthy because sometimes people tell you what you want to hear. Sometimes they tell you stuff you don't want to hear, right? And some of the stuff, some of the things that they, that you, some of the things that you don't want to hear, whether they're good for you or not, it's it feels like it's going to be at, at a, there, th th this, this, conversation is coming in at a point where you don't have time for it because you're going to move from a more introverted stage stage in where you are to a more extroverted stage you don't have time for any of the bullshit that comes along you don't have time for any of the bullshit that comes along because you've been through so much and now there's a new beginning here there's some newness here you're ready to really um sub succumb to what it is that you've been waiting for I'm also feeling that um, there is a, an offer, um, an emotional offer coming in from someone who um, is very emotionally stable. They, um, it feels like this person is going to grow on you, okay? But it's on you if you balance out, because um, you, you'll continuously be uh, balancing the scales, right? Because you don't want them to tilt too much in either direction, or then you got to take some time off, okay? When the scales get to balancing too much, you know, you got to really reevaluate your life for a whole three hours sometimes okay and so um i'm seeing here where uh, for those of you who may be dealing with um dealing with a libra or someone with air in their chart um it feels like this person may cause some unnecessary undue frustrations right um some of you maybe go through a period of um right after some huge joyful blissful experience just beauty everywhere you're gonna feel like it's too much to handle it's too much going on you wasn't ready 
and you will go into a meditative state. In this meditative state, you will begin to see things for what they are. It feels like many of you really need to detach from the um, errors of uh, your ego because the ego likes to feed on fear. The ego likes for you to think that you ain't shit. The ego likes for you to feel like you are not a spiritual being having a human experience. The ego will have you thinking that you are more than a spiritual being. You are actually not even from here. Just watch the ego because, you know, you have your ass in one of them jackets that make you hug yourself. You don't want that. Um, there may be some deception surrounding family um, and friends um, at some event or some celebratory. Yeah, this may be an older person. Um, Aries. Some um, um, some event or celebratory, uh, maybe an Aries birthday. Boo yow. But um, there will be some deception from this person. I see that they are very manipulative. They play it, yeah. They're going to offer you a new beginning, whoever it is, and you just feel like you have to stand your ground with this person because overall, um, you feel like you may have judged the situation wrong in the past and moving forward, whether this be a love interest, family, friends, or whoever. You just feel like, you know, right now, things have come full circle. You feel like that cycle, that person, whatever that is that you have been uh, dealing with, with regarding this person, Leo, Aries, whoever, you just feel like, no, I don't have time for it anymore. They may even come off as um, very flighty. They're in and out, not always around. And it's possible that this is someone who is going to come in and have you. It's a, a fire sign. Someone who's going to come in and have you feeling like they are so down for you, so ready for this and blah, 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 blah. But um, if, overall, you will really need to use your um, inner guidance, your higher self to really communicate with you. And on a conscious level of what it is that you need to do with this because it feels like they are just in right in and out very passionate person someone that may be coming back from the past that um, you've dealt with before so note to self but, um, I'm also saying here that uh, there will be some light shed on some uh, the um, some intuitive um, information that you receive some light will be shed on what is really going on because some of you may be conflicted on okay well i'm feeling like this but they're saying this and they're actually doing something right well um you will receive some type of um information that's going to back up what you thought in the first place and then things will be revealed for some of you this could possibly in the future maybe around june or july turn into an actual um two of cups kind of thing but overall what i'm seeing is there's a lot of nostalgic feelings for this person and you don't know which you won't know which way to go some of you know where you're going and how you're going and you ain't putting up with it all right now i am seeing here where um there is a false sense of attachment to um getting out and doing um, a lot of things to try and make yourself feel good you will come to a point where you need to really rest and rejuvenate really you do your guided meditations really focus on what it is that you need um, to do or have transpire in your life around this time. This could be toward the end of the month. It feels as though um, you will be communicating with family and friends, someone that you possibly blocked in the past about how you are feeling. You're going to take a break from it all and, and move to a space of not knowing which way to go or what to do. It's a mental confinement. Really feeling like maybe I shouldn't have said that. Maybe I shouldn't have took that break. Maybe I should have... Um, like I should have, would have, could have, right? Can't take shit back. You just got to keep it moving, okay? Get out your head. Um, for others of you, it feels like you make become to a very stagnant space in your life. And in the stagnancy, you're going to feel like someone may be wishing harm. Your candle's burning black, whatever. The glass on your candle's burning black. Burn another one. Burn them till they burn clear. Um, some of you will not even be um, wanting to look at the past for what it is and just want to continue to move forward. But you don't know how to get out of your head, get out of this heartbreak, um, frustration, or what have you, when this um, fire sign comes in, does their thing, and then moves around. It feels like there is also a new beginning um, coming to you by the end of the month from another fire sign. It feels like you will meet this person at a party um, right when you feel like, I ain't going to no parties. <laughs> But right when you feel like you have everything that you need, you are in a good space and you are really moving forward, um, I just don't need anyone. I have money. I can do this. I'm chilling. I'm not. I can. This how I sleep. No one ain't nobody cheating on me. Right. And then boom. 
um, there may be a water sign or someone who um, is emotionally manipulative coming in and trying to stir up things. But overall, I see you getting over the heartbreak and just moving forward. All right, Libra, that is your reading for April 2018. I love you a long time. Bye.